Hey guys, I figured I was going to take a quick little walk through and walk around tour of El Caminos once again. We cleaned them both up today, gave this one a quick little clean up on the outside and inside. I swept mine out today and yeah, I figured I'd take a quick little video of them. And this one here first is my, my, my mom's 1984 Chevy El Camino. Let's do a quick little walk around the body here. It has some rust issues quite a bit, but those were all, they'll all be fixed here sometime soon. <clears throat> Has the just the Chevy Malibu and Chevy El Camino hubcaps, 14 inch. Go right here and take a look at the interior. She swept it out today, cleaned it all up, really clean. I also have a video just now. I posted up. I'll or I'll be posting of a drive around, drive like drive test drive of this car. <laughs> Same on this side. Clean. Go right here and pop the hood. has a very nice running Chevy 305 engine in it. Three hundred five has a new fuel line we've done to it. We've put a new alternator on, put a new starter on, put a, even a new battery terminal on, just little things. Runs really nice, really nice now. <clears throat> Three hundred five is a really easy engine to work on because I mean we've done so many things to this and it just runs like new now. Find the keys here. Start it up here. Great, look at the exhaust. Turn off there. And that's about it for that one. 1984 El Camino. Now let's get to mine. My 1979 Chevy El Camino. Same exact car, really, like engine wise, has a 305. A little bit different. I mean, nothing. I have a bunch of stuff back there right now. A bunch of crap. To unload. I haven't really, I haven't given it a car wash right now, right this moment, so it's kind of dirty. It's back glass, its windows are tinted out. I like the looks of the like the '79, like my year, a little bit better than the '80s. I just think the style looks a lot better. Go ahead and look at mine. Now, I've changed something up a little bit with mine now. If you've been watching my videos, the guy, the owner before me, has already started painting. Like he, he painted the carpet black. He's trying to make it all black instead of this brown color. So I've, I've went ahead and painted the door panels, drivers and passenger side, black. And it looks really good, actually. I guess I swept mine out today and cleaned it. Next thing to do is either get a new dash for it or just paint the dash black. I don't know yet. 
all this other stuff is painted black, like the window or the sunshades and the the roof and the ceiling in here. It was all painted black. Originally, it was all just that brown color, but the other or last owner wanted to make everything black, so yeah, started things up. Look at the hood. Open the hood. Look at the engine. It has a 305 too, with 350 transmission, automatic. Has some other things like chrome Edelbrock head covers. Yeah, it has. A, it's a lot easier to work on that one over there. That one over there has actually some more hoses in the way and stuff. When this one's older, you don't have as much stuff to deal with around you when you're working on it. Runs good. Let me start it up over here. Sit this down. Start it up. And that one's, that's that one's exhaust. But yeah, I figured I'd take a quick little video of these two El Caminos. And my grandma's El Camino, or my grandma's Monte Carlo are here right now. But I'll be soon getting a vi start video of that. Maybe drive, walk through, look around at that. Yeah, thanks for watching guys.